Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back with yours truly, KJ Andy O. Today, we're going to do some super spicy sloppy joes. I did this once for I did this once before and I pre-recorded a video, but this time I'm going to kick it up a notch and I'm going to use two ghost peppers instead of just one. And not only that, I thought it would be a fun experience to do live, you know. Uh, last week with the taquitos, there were a couple issues because of the shells I got or the tortillas I got. Um, this time it should go without a hitch, I'm pretty sure. Um, looks like there are a few people online. Good afternoon or good evening, depending where you're from, or even good morning, depending where you're from. So first thing we're going to do is prepare the veggies, right? And for the veggies, I'm going to use part of an onion and a garlic clove, a couple garlic cloves, and also the ghost peppers. That's the first step. And as I'm going, I'll call things out in the measurements being used. Speaking of measurements, got my handy dandy measuring spoon set. Love this thing. Mr. Drip Tip, what's going on, man? How you doing? All right. So I'll go ahead and try to take this down. Um, I'm using a Logitech camera, so I don't really have any zoom on it per se. So, and also I'm going to do things different. Normally I hand chop the vegetables, but I thought this time... I'm going to try to use the master prep by uh, Ninja to do the chopping. Hopefully it works out well. Oh boy, the blade. Yeah, I guess you need the blade, huh? Got the blade. Some things go without saying and some things go without doing. And I forgot to do. Go ahead and put that blade in. Is that the right one? I think so. Uh-oh. No, it's not. Dang it. Already off to a rough start, huh? Let me get the right blade here. There we go. There's the right one. Those blades are sharp, too. Definitely don't want to mess with them. You get in a tangle with them, and you're going to be a bloody mess. Okay. Get ahead. Get this thing seated here. Uh, of course, things just don't work out when you go live, do they? There we go. <laughs> so we're off to a start here, right? Uh, Dan, what's going on? Brian, how you doing, brother? What's going on, Mikael? What's going on? Uh, thanks, man. Thanks. Lone Star Crew, what's going on? Hey, he's got a good channel right there. If you ever got the time, go ahead and check out his channel. Big shout out to Lone Star Crew. All right, let me put this blade away so it doesn't mess me up. All right. So like I said, we're going to do the veggies first, right? Hopefully this all goes well. Let me take you down while I do this. Like I said, I have no zoom on this camera. It's a Logitech. Got my chef knife. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top and the bottom of this onion. Actually, I'm going to go a little further. This onion wasn't all the way ripe. There we go. And, of course, my trash bag's across the room. Give me one sec. All right. Going to put the trash bag in the drawer here. That way it's readily available for stuff I got to throw in it, right? Uh, it's glitchy on your end. I'm not sure what's happening there, Michael. What's going on? Finally cut alive. Brian, what's going on, man? Pike Place, how you doing? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and unravel some of this onion here. Got to, Actually, I'll just chop it, and we'll do the skin after. So weird going live, guys. I'm just, like, totally not sure what to make out of it. So I'm going to use that much of an onion, right? It's a pretty big onion, so went ahead and peeled the skin. I'm gonna put that aside. And this is a huge garlic clove. I don't know if you could tell, but it's super huge. Uh, you get something to smash it. All right, this should work. That helps uh, free up the garlic cloves a little bit easier. And that should do it. All 
Video keeps cutting out. Not sure why that is. Um, my internet connection is super fast over here. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and peel the garlic a little bit. I'm hoping this video comes out good at the end. Maybe it's connection issues on your end. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not on my end. Otherwise, I'm in deep trouble and we did all this for nothing, right? Um, if there's anyone else out there that's experiencing good streaming, please let me know. That way I know it's not my end, you know? I'd greatly appreciate that. One of these days I'll get a um, garlic peeler type of thing. I know they have something like that available, but for right now, do it the old-fashioned way by hand. All right, a couple more. Thanks, Lone Star Crew. Yeah, please let me know if you're experiencing any issues. If you're not experiencing any issues, I'd like to know. Because if you're not having any issues, then um, obviously there's some other problems on the internet. And as long as it's um, working fine for one person, then I know my video is going to upload without a hitch, you know? This one was not peeled all the way. Okay, there we go. That should be enough, actually. Definitely plenty of garlic, right? I have a fan on, and all these peels just kind of blow away in the wind here. Uh, seems like it's okay on my end. Right on, Daniel. Thanks for letting me know. You like the really spicy food. Yes, sir. I sure do. Well... At least it's working fine for one person. That tells me there's some other stuff going on on the internet, right? So, all right. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the garlic separately. Let's go ahead and prep some ghost peppers. I'm going to cut the tips off. And this one's a huge one right here. That is a huge guy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and slice them down the middle, make sure there's nothing inhabiting them that shouldn't be there. All right, cool, cool. We're looking good. Uh, yeah, Mr. Drip Tip's cool, man. I like that name too. We're all, um, we're a lot of us are all um, vapors and stuff. So, all right. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to try to use the master prep right here. And I'm going to cut this onion again in a couple places. It just seems to deal easier with that. Right? So we're going to put the onion in and the ghost peppers in. All right. And I don't want to chop it too fine, but I want it pretty fine, right? All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. Helps to plug it in, right? Got to plug it in. Here we go. That should be good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move that over to this plate. Uh, spatula. That'll make it easier. All right, so I got some nicely fine minced onions and ghost peppers looks like it came out groovy totally all right let me wash this out i love this master prep man this thing is a time saver all the way uh it is unique right no doubt I wouldn't even touch those without gloves. Oh, the ghost peppers? Ah, it's all good. Um, I'm not going to touch my eyes or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Now we're going to go ahead and mince up some garlic. There we go. A little one, two, three. That should be good.
rinsing these things off as I go. All right. And the garlic. Okay, so I'm going to put that on a separate plate. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute the onions and ghost pepper um, without the garlic. And then I'm going to add the garlic in at the last minute because um, otherwise the garlic gets too done. It's better to do it that way, I've found. That's definitely a good amount of garlic for the recipe. All right. Now we're cooking, right? No, I'm not cooking yet. Soon, though. All right, let's get the cutting board out of there. All right, let me catch up with the comments. Let me bring you back up for a sec. What's going on, everybody? Thanks so much, Lone Star Crew, man. I really appreciate the support. Patrick, what's going on? How you doing? Ninja makes some good blenders. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, that's the chopper bowl. Uh, the chopper bowl works just fantastic, man, with the blades. Love it. Oh, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be spicy good. Lone Star Crew, I know you're into some spicy stuff. I've seen you do it on your channel, and uh, you'd absolutely love this dish. I'm making a French dip pastrami sandwich tonight. Have you ever watched Sam the Cooking Guys? Yes, I have. I have watched his channel before. Absolutely. Does buffer once in a bit. Crap. I really hope that it doesn't do that when I save it or when the video is finished, right? All right, so next step. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Ninja. And next step, let me get rid of this. Next step, we are going to bring a burner into the mix. I have a very limited size kitchen, unfortunately. So um, I have little devices like this to be able to cook things on, right? Let's go ahead and plug it in. Eating <laughs> shit on shingle tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. I haven't heard of that in a long time. All right. Got my saucepan right here. Going to use this Oster pan to um, brown the meat. Let me grab the meat. Should actually turn that on and get things going. All right. So the meat I usually get is an 80-20 blend, right? It's good to have some fat in there. Unfortunately, someone bought all the meat out of Stater Brothers last night, and I go right to the butcher counter. I don't get the prepackaged stuff. So what I'm working with today is 93.7, okay? That's all they had available. That's really the only thing they had available. I mean, I guess that's a healthier cut, but what I'm going to do is after I'm done browning it, I'm not going to drain any remaining fat. I'm going to leave it in there because obviously there isn't even going to be that much to begin with. Okay, let's go ahead and undo this. Man, it's always best to get your uh, meat right from the butcher. Freshest meat that way. You can tell this is like super red, man. It's different without all the fat in it, you know? All right. That was almost a mistake. Almost. <laughs> it's different when you don't have a range to work with and you got limited cooking supplies, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and brown some beef. I'll take it down for a sec. Not for the whole thing, but just so you can see what I'm doing. I got it on like a medium high heat, and we're going to start by breaking it up a little bit. It's a little bit over a pound, but it should still be okay. Pound of ground round. Would I say 93.7? Wow. That is like very low fat. Normally, I'd use a wooden spoon. Unfortunately, I do not have one. So um, this will work just fine. I've done it before. All right. For Sloppy Joes, you definitely want the meat really broken up. You don't want any large chunks in there or anything. So I'm going to let that go for a minute. All right. Let me get back with the comments. Uh, using 90-10 bison sometimes. Should be fine. Blake, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, boar's head pastrami. Yeah, boar's head is great, man. 
I love their meats. They have good quality meats for sure. Their pastrami is definitely bomb. I don't know of any uh, supermarkets out here that serve boar's head. When I was living in Solvang, I did. Um, but out here, I haven't seen any. But I have found a store with good quality pastrami nonetheless. It's just not boar's head, you know? All right. So that's going to get going. Bring you back up for a sec. This is fun. This is definitely fun. We got 12 people on. Good evening or afternoon or morning, depending on what side of the planet you are on watching. Really hoping that this video is not all choppy when it's done, man. I really hope. That would um, totally be a fail, you know? Even though I got this recipe down, the recipe won't be a fail. Like last week with the taquitos, I had some issues, you know, with the tortillas I used. There should be no issues with this at all. So I'm going to go ahead and flip part of the beef over. Yeah, it's a little bit different when cooking with less fat. I'll tell you that much. Doesn't quite break up as easily, but I know I'll get her done. Right? Got to get her done. Yep, it's definitely cooking nice. Getting some browning going on. And this burner works really good. Some of them out there, you get these ones, and they're more like hot plate warmers. You know, they're not really burners, you know. They usually have like thermostats in them, and they shut off and cut off early. Uh, this thing stays hot. So I really enjoy using this one. And this one is a um, everyday living, believe it or not. I think that's from like Walmart or something like that. It came with the joint. Okay, that looks good. It's all breaking up nicely. Donna, what's going on, girl? How are you doing? Love Donna. She's a cool lady, man. Really cool. All right. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Really is nice to know that I got some followers and some people interested in watching me doing this. And I got all my ingredients already laid out on the counter here. You can't really see them. They're off over here. But um, let me show you what we're looking at now. It's definitely uh, coming together. The meat's cooking, browning. It's definitely going on pretty good. Turn some of that over again. All right. And I got to make sure to keep chopping it up as I'm going. So it's all nice and crumbly. Uh, there really isn't much fat in this meat. So like I said, I'm not going to drain it. Whatever little bit of fat is in there, I'm going to transfer it over to a larger saucepan where I'm going to be making the actual sauce. But yeah, this is working out pretty nice. I think I'll turn the heat up a little bit more, get it done a little bit faster. There we go. Uh, I'm on, I'm the FB Blake that hit you on the post. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Thanks for tuning in, Blake. Really appreciate it, buddy. All y'all, I mean, I'm really happy you're here, you know? Definitely coming together pretty nicely here. And um, like I said, I already made, Donna, you got to check this out. You missed this part. This is uh, ghost pepper and onions minced up from the master prep. And then I used the master prep to mince up some garlic. I'm going to throw all that in the mix soon. All right, give another little turn to the stuff. All right. I was almost thinking about doing this in the Instant Pot, but um, I don't know. Not really too familiar with that thing yet, and I don't want to do some trial and error cooking live. So I figure I'll go with what I know. 
But I have a feeling that would have worked out fine as well. If you're not familiar with an instant pot, it's a pressure cooker. It's a sauteer. It's also a slow cooker. Multifunction type device. I love multifunction devices. Love my air fryer. Man, love some of the tools I got. It's always good to have tools in your kitchen, you know, that are uh, usable. Yeah, it's definitely coming together. It's getting less red. I know, right, Donna? I tell you what. All right, let me bring you back up. I just had a shower and shave right before this. I'm all smooth as can be. So we got seven people on, a couple people ejected. I understand there's not uh, too much fun stuff with watching meat cook, right? And I'm not here to do backflips or cartwheels or anything like that for you guys. <laughs> as entertaining as that might be. And what I've done ahead of time, uh, usually I have this all in my head, but I figure when I'm live, doing this live with people, man, there's certainly room for mistakes and errors. So um, I wrote down everything this morning. I wrote down the whole recipe, what it takes to get her done, sizes, amounts, and all that stuff, and the process and when to add everything. That way, just in case I get off track with the live chat, I have something to refer to, right? Yeah, this is coming along good, folks. Almost done. Just a barely a little bit of red in there. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, leave it to me, Patrick. I'll tell you what. That's an interesting burner. Yeah, man. I gotta gotta go with what I could work with, you know. But it's definitely going. Let me bring it down again. Don't want to get burnt by the burner, no pun intended. As you can see, it is mostly all done here. I think we're just about there. Yeah, it's looking pretty groovy. I like to keep on breaking it up, man. It keeps clumping up a little bit. Should be pretty good, though, once it gets all sauced up. But, you know, I'm really happy the way this is going so far. Like I said, I just hope the video saves okay and doesn't all choppy, you know. Guess we'll find out soon enough when I'm done with this whole concoction. It is going to be tasty, though. I'll tell you what. Uh, they probably left to eat. Yeah, no doubt. I think they left because of the glitching, huh? So you guys are still having glitching, huh? Is there one person out there at least that it's not glitching for? Please let me know. Otherwise, um, I don't know. Should I stop this? I mean, really don't know what to expect. I know my internet's like super fast. I got 300 megabit internet here. And I rarely ever have any issues. Okay. Let me go back up for a sec. Welcome back, everybody. I think that's just about done. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner. And we're going to put this aside for a sec. Hold on. Limited kitchen. Limited kitchen, folks. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my larger saucepan, put it on, and... Uh, let's see, ground beef, larger pan, add beef. Okay, so we're going to add the beef. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring it back down again, just a sec. All right. Add the beef back in. There is a little bit of fat, which is great. Not much at all, though. Okay, got the beef in there. Yeah, for reals, folks, if there's anyone not having any glitching, please let me know. Oh, it's not glitching for you. Thank you so much, Patrick. Really appreciate the feedback. Happens maybe every minute or so. Not that bad, really. Well, at least it's not happening for Patrick, which what I'm concerned about is the final product, that when it uploads, when I'm finished streaming, that it's going to be okay. All right, so let's get going with this, right? 
Uh, okay, we're going to add tomato paste. All right, so I got myself some tomato paste right here from Stater Brothers. Go ahead and open that up. Alrighty, here we go. All right, I'm going to use a tablespoon of tomato paste. Here we go. Great, the lid fell in there, wouldn't you know? All right. <laughs> Always things happen when you're live doing stuff. You know, you got to love it. Let me get that out of there. Okay. All right, tablespoon of tomato paste, done. Set that back aside. Then we're going to add, oh, damn it. I forgot a saute. <laughs> Hold on, we're going to do this real quick. Put this aside for a sec. All right, let's put the original burner back on, turn it back on. Totally forgot a step. I knew this would happen when I'm going live. Things always happen when you're going live. All right, so we're going to add some butter to the saucepan. There we go. At least it wasn't before the point of no return, right? That's for sure. Glitched a couple times on first join, but all good now. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm not sure why, Manny. It's not glitching for Patrick, though, so at least the video should be okay when it's done, hopefully. All right, so we are going to saute the onions and ghost pepper, right? Give it a second to get back up to temperature. Plant-based butter. Why would I use plant-based butter? No, man, it's dairy. Come on now. Uh, no, I'm using a... I'm using some challenge whipped butter is what I'm using with uh, sea salt. No fake butter here. The real deal, dude. Okay. Oh, there's a large piece of onion that didn't get chopped. Let's get that out. Okay. Another one. Everything else should be groovy. A couple little larger pieces, but eh, it's all right. Should be fine. I can smell those ghost peppers. It's like a video echo. Huh, not sure why. Thank you for subscribing, Roy. Really appreciate it, man. Those ghost peppers. I'm getting the fumes. Woo! These are going to be some super spicy sloppy joes. Well, I'm just waiting for the onions to get a little translucent. All right. Let it sit there for a sec. Looks in pretty good. Sloppy Joe's for dinner. That's right. That's right. Yeah, definitely sauteing all nice. Man, the ghost pepper, the fumes that come off from the ghost peppers. Jeez. I just wish I had someone to eat with, man. I'm all alone out here, and um, I have no one to enjoy these with. But I know they're going to be good. They're going to be spicy. And it's going to take a certain person to get in to enjoy these things, you know? 
Man, that's really incredible. All right. Let's go ahead and add the garlic. Should be enough. And stir that all together. Oh, yeah. I could already smell the pungent aroma from the garlic. That happened really fast. All right. So we got seven people on right now. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the food experience. I think that's going to be good. Let's go ahead and turn off the heat. And we're going to put the meat and tomato paste in. Going to add the garlic and onions and ghost pepper. And now for all the good stuff. All right. Um, we're going to add two-thirds of a cup of ketchup. I got some Stater Brothers ketchup. I think I'm going to add the water first because the ketchup is going to get the um, measuring cup all yucky. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to use a third cup of water. There we go. And then two-thirds a cup of ketchup. Hold on. There we go. Two-thirds a cup. Ketchup going in. Looking good. All right. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar. Hold on a sec. It's brown sugar. There it is. Using CNH brown sugar. Use the other side of this since this side's all mucked up, right? Okay, tablespoon of brown sugar in. Let's go ahead and put that away. Teaspoon of mustard. All right, where the heck's the teaspoon? Quarter teaspoon. Here we go. One teaspoon. Teaspoon of mustard. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right. Get rid of the water. There we go. Teaspoon of mustard. There we are. What's up, brother? Sorry, I'm late. Notice you're going live. Thanks, James. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of chili powder. Got my chili powder right here, McCormick. Three quarters of a teaspoon. So we're just going to kind of guesstimate. That looks about right. There we go. Now we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. I never say that name right, but a um, few dashes. There we go. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of red pepper. Got to cut this open. I got some crushed chilies. Add kind of a dash in there. That should do it. All 
All right, so now we're going to turn the heat back on, bring it to medium. Put the ketchup away. And now we're just going to start stirring everything in together, right? You want to make sure everything is mixed well. Fortunately, I've already done this a couple times, so I know this method works good. Definitely has a nice odor coming off that. I could smell garlic. I smell the tomato presence. I smell a little bit of the ghost pepper, the onion. Yeah, that's coming together nicely. And I can see those ghost peppers in there. It is going to be spicy. Two full ghost peppers, right? I don't know if Donna is still here. Haven't heard from her in a bit. James, I appreciate you being here, brother. All you guys, actually. Really appreciate you all tuning in. Yeah, those ghost peppers, man. Woo! Last time I did this, I used one ghost pepper, and it was pretty spicy, but I have a feeling this is going to, like, be really, really spicy. Okay, that should be all worked in together. Now I'm going to let it simmer on a medium heat for, like, 15. Go ahead and set my timer. And let's take it back up top again. And we're back. So, yeah, that's basically the prep for this. Um, boy, heavy ghost pepper presence I'm smelling. Sure hope this is going to be good. Hopefully I didn't overdo it with a ghost pepper. Um, like I said, the first time I used one ghost pepper, and this time I used two, and one of them was really big. May not need it to have gone that deep in the ghost peppers. Definitely sounds like a good sloppy joe. It is, man. I mean, at least the first time it was. I don't know about this time because um, I added more ghost pepper. I wanted to give it just a little more kick to it. Put some of the stuff away. Okay, that's starting to simmer nicely. Give it a little occasional stir. And what you want to do is kind of let this thicken up and simmer for about 15 minutes. I have my timer going. Uh, a little over 13 minutes left to go. Looking great. Thanks, Donna. Appreciate it. Wish you were here to eat it with me. Wish someone was here to eat it with me. But yeah, this is looking good. I'll show you what's going on. Um, if you could see it, it's definitely simmering. It's got a little bit of bubbling going on. An occasional stir, and it's going to be great. Bring it back down a little bit. All right. Man, this light that comes in from that window, I'm thinking of maybe getting a poster or something, a picture to put over that. So, Because the background light that comes in really shouldn't be there. It makes everything dark with the camera, unless I'm like standing right in front of it. But I do have a studio light in front of me pointed right at me, which helps. Definitely does help. Another little stir. And this is looking good. I see chunks of ghost pepper, onions, garlic in there. Man, this is going to be delish. And the buns I'm using, last time I used smaller buns. This time I got these golden sesame buns from Stater Brothers. And I'm going to give them a little bit of toast. Let me go ahead and prepare a couple. Gonna do that in a minute or two. Don't want to do it too too premature. Start putting some of this in the uh, sink.
All right. Start doing a little bit of cleanup here, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely simmering really nicely. What you want to do is get some of that water to cook off. That's why you put in all the water. And that's what's going to make it ultimately a nice, thick, sloppy joe, you know? Go ahead and put my buns away. What? No, not my buns. How about the buns? Mine are permanently attached. <laughs> we got 11 people on good evening and afternoon and morning, or depending where you're from in the world. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host for the most. Uh, thank you, Roy. He deserves it for sure. Oh, just said, yeah, man, Roy's a cool guy, man. He's on my other channel as well. Big shout out to Roy. A poster, they do make curtains. Look, this place came with no curtains, no blinds, nothing. And because my work cut my salary and my hours, I cannot afford to go out and get some of those things. So I'm thinking a poster or a picture will work dandy for right now. Um, unless someone wants to uh, donate and... Um, do some uh, home remodeling furnishing here. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, love the potato bread buns. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those things. I like regular buns. I'm a traditional guy, man. I don't know. I like stuff as they were meant to be. You know, I see some people out there ordering like pizza with cauliflower crust. I'm like, yeah, gross. Are you kidding me? Gluten-free stuff. When your body is supposed to actually have gluten in the diet, you know? Unless you have celiac disease or have a gluten sensitivity, you're supposed to have that in your diet. Trust on that. All right. So this is thickening up really nicely. We got about nine minutes left. Definitely simmering nicely. Really happy with that. Put that away. These I didn't use. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The peppers just spilled, made a mess. That's okay. Clean that up later. The crushed red pepper, that is. All right. Yeah, I'll have to deal with that later. Going to have to put that into a Ziploc. Uh, in fact, I could do it now while we're waiting. Got some Ziplocs on the ready. You never know when you're going to need a Ziploc, right? Crap. <laughs> I could use some other explicits, but I vowed to myself not to really heavily curse on this channel. I like to keep it somewhat sort of family friendly, and I don't really believe crap is a real heavy curse word or anything like that. It's better than the other four-letter word that starts with an S, right? Uh, love the shirt. Right on, man. I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> no, I wish, man. Well, no, I don't. Johnny Cash is gone. Um yeah, I love my Johnny Cash shirt, man. I love to bust out some Johnny Cash karaoke when I go out. Uh, Brad, what's going on, man? I'm not sure what Patrick is saying you to, but uh, all right. Great to see you're cooking for us live today. Oh, yeah, cauliflower crust. That is just disgusting. I don't know why people do it. I guess there's so many people in the world going for, like, healthy alternatives, and they replace ground beef with turkey in the recipes. Not me, man. I'm old-fashioned. I do it old-school way. The way I was brought up, you know? Maybe I'm a dying breed. Who knows? I was going to add some paprika. I mean, it's not too late, but I think I'm going to wait. I will try that another time because my original recipe, I didn't have paprika, and I was kind of on the fence about adding it. I mean, it can never hurt. Paprika is a great seasoning. And when I get to about five minutes left of cooking time, then I'm going to go ahead and start toasting them buns. Oh, yeah, the cauliflower crust, right? Crust ain't bad. No, not for me, dude. I don't even like cauliflower in real life. Like for veggies, I hate cauliflower. Yuck. <laughs> then again, I'm really picky with, with what veggies I eat, but cauliflower definitely is not one of them. No, I want regular old pizza crust, man. You know, traditional pizza crust. I've heard the um, gluten-free stuff is like all dried out. I just give me some real deal regular stuff. I don't eat pizza that often, but when I do, I just want it right, you know? So, yeah, we're going here. I've uh, got about six and a half minutes left. 
for this to continue simmering. It's coming along nicely, smelling really, really good. I smell the garlic, the ghost peppers, the tomato, onions. I can smell it all. It's all in there. I buy cauliflower just to eat with ranch. Yuck. <laughs> I can't do that, man. I can't do that. I do not like cauliflower. Not one bit. And I'm not even a big ranch person either. Actually, I would, if it were me, I wouldn't be doing cauliflower. I'd maybe, shoot, I would do broccoli before I would do cauliflower. And I would be using blue cheese, not ranch. But that's me. I'm a blue cheese guy. I'm not really a ranch guy. A lot of people like ranch. I don't know what it is, but um, not me, man. I like blue cheese. I like ranch okay. I'll eat it. But if I'm given a choice of blue cheese or ranch, I'm going to choose blue cheese every time. Don't forget the Carolina Reaper. Man, I tell you what. I mean, I certainly could have done that, you know. Um, I do have some stuff in the freezer. Yeah, I do have these Reapers in the freezer. I was contemplating using them, but no, no, no. I'll save, whoops, I'll save them for another time. Definitely be saving them for another time, for another concoction. But, yeah, don't fear the Reaper, you know, just like the song goes. Except they're talking about a different kind of Reaper, right? Uh, me too, Blake. Oh, man, I can't do it, Donna. I can't. <laughs> but Donna knows I'm a real picky eater, you know. I like ranch and blue cheese. Right on. Fair enough. Um. I'm more blue cheese heavy, you know? I go for that every time if I'm given a choice. If there's no choice and there's only ranch, yeah, I'll eat ranch. It's not bad. It's just not my preferred uh, substance for dipping uh, raw vegetables into, you know? Seems like everyone hates on blue cheese. Like, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Why are there so many blue cheese haters? Man, I love like a nice fresh crumble blue cheese or a salad dressing with blue cheese. Either way, man, I love it. Uh, I love broccoli, but there's something about cauliflower that just, yuck. yeah, me too, James. I feel you, bro. I feel you. And I don't like cooked broccoli. I'm really particular, man. I mean, like, I'm really weird with veggies being cooked. I usually don't like any of them cooked, but I love them raw. You know, like spinach is another one. I do not like cooked spinach, man. It smells like, it smells like a dirty gym or something when it's being cooked, you know? I don't know. I can't eat it. But raw in a salad? Throw that, some broccoli, some cucumbers, um, radishes, onions. I mean, like, there's stuff I like if I'm going to have a salad, you know. But cooked, I just can't bring myself to do most of them, you know. I just can't. Yeah, blue cheese is great, man. I can never hate on blue cheese. I love that stuff. All right, what are we looking at now? Three minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and toast some buns. I'll be right back. All right. And I want to give a big shout out to everyone that just recently joined my channel. When I first started out uh, yesterday, I had 242 subscribers. Last time I checked, I have 230, 35, no, four, hmm, 50, 250, I think. I'm not going to look right now. Well, I can look on my phone. I just don't want to disturb my computer, man, because uh, then thing, that's when things go bad. You know, you start interfering and have multiple browsers open. 254 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough. I really can't. I need to record like an intro video to my channel. I haven't done that yet for this channel. Of course, for my other channel, I already got that done. But this is thickening up nicely, folks. Let me show you what we're looking at. Okay, check this out. I mean, it's nice and super thick. Yeah, definitely a good consistency for Sloppy Joe. I love this recipe. Took me a little while to perfect it. And I'm not sure with the extra ghost peppers how it's going to go down. I'm really not sure. But, um, but yeah, definitely digging the recipe otherwise. The brown sugar helps make it a little bit sweet. Um, you got the tomato paste and also the ketchup to bring it that tomato flavor. Um, the onions give it a nice sort of savory type of thing. Um, same with the chili powder. Just found out about this channel last night on Vape Channel Live. Thanks, man. I appreciate you coming on over here. 
I like both raw cooked unless it's bell peppers, something that gets cooked. Yeah, I'm not a big bell pepper guy. You know, I like the hot peppers better. Normally, okay, so let me break this down. Normally with sloppy joes, you use some kind of bell pepper, green pepper, that kind of thing. They're just not spicy enough for me, man. I like spicy stuff. So if you like this recipe and like what I'm doing and like what you see, but you can't handle the super hots, then go ahead and substitute it for some green peppers, bell peppers, maybe poblano or serrano. You know, it's up to you. But otherwise, this recipe is banging good. I guarantee you on that. All right, how those buns coming along? I don't want to toast the buns too much. Jennifer, how you doing? What's going on? Let me get a plate ready. All right. It is almost time to serve these up. We got 50 seconds to go. Everything is looking totally groovy. I can see bits of garlic and onions and ghost peppers. I'm sure you could all see that too. I'll show you when I'm all done. In fact, I want to take a couple pictures for when I um, post this on my Facebook account. Give me a second here. Uh, let me turn off that flash. The annoying flash. All right. There we go. And we're going to top it with cheese also, saving that for the last step. I don't want to put cheese in the mix, per se. Um, it's going to get it all gummy and gooey in my pot, and I'd rather just add it at the end. I love both your channels. You're really entertaining. You actually care about your viewers. I do care about my viewers, man. I love interacting with you guys. Um, it just makes the world a happier, safer, fun place for me, you know? I'll tell you what. Okay, so my timer went off. We're good to go there. Buns should be done toasting. Let's go ahead and bring them out. Yeah, they're definitely lightly toasted. Perfect for what I want. All right. And I don't know how I got water on my plate. Well, I did wash them earlier. I guess it didn't dry all the way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me show you what I'm working with here. Let me bring it up or bring it down or however you want to look at it. Bring the camera down a little bit and show you what I got. Look at that. You can see it is nice and thick. Onions, garlic, ghost peppers, guaranteed for a good time. Let me go ahead and turn my burner off and bring it back up a little bit. Uh, a little bit too much, huh? Certain finesse to using these Logitechs, I tell you. Uh, I love both your channels. You really, oh, okay, yeah, I did see that. And thank you guys. Really, it can really it didn't even expect anyone to be tuning in today. We got 13 people on. So now that I'm all done with this, we're gonna go ahead and make some sloppy joes. Let me get some cheese. I'm gonna be using a cheddar jack mix today. Love this stuff. I missed you adding the peppers. How many peppers did you use today? So, all right, let's go over that real quick. I used two ghost peppers. And um, one was like right around this size right here. And the other one was right around this size. So, a lot of ghost pepper, you could say. And like I said, normally I use 80-20 beef, but the uh, butcher was sold out last night. So I got 93-7. That's the best I could come up with. <clears throat> Madman. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I am hungry, man. I haven't really eaten a full meal all day today. I've been holding out. So let's go ahead and prepare some sloppy joes. And a sloppy joe wouldn't be great unless it was truly sloppy, right? That's what we're looking at so far. Looks good. Let me take a quick picture for my social media people. All right. Let's add some cheese.
I love cheese. Don't hate on the extra cheese because I love cheese. Let me take one more social media pick. All right, here's what we're looking at now. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let's put some top bun action on. And one last social media pick. You never know which one you're going to use, you know. There we go. Oh, yeah, Jennifer, it is going to be super hot. So let's go ahead and set this aside on a wooden board. Move my burner aside a little bit. Don't want to get burnt. And let's dig in, shall we? Great flavor. Oh, man, yeah, I'm feeling the ghost pepper already. Definitely super spicy. Hold on a sec. Get myself a Coca-Cola they've washed this down with. Oh, yeah. Hold on. So that's what I'm working with. Look at that. The cheese is all melted in there. Oh, man. This is delicious. It's like the perfect sloppy Joe, but with an attitude. That's what I'm talking about. The cheese makes an awesome touch. I definitely get, they're really garlicky. Uh, I taste the onions, the ghost peppers, the tomato sauce. Uh, beef is really good quality. Sesame seed buns are always a way to go. Bird dog, what's going on? How are you doing? Yeah, these are good. A little bit of mukbang right now, right? And those ghost peppers, though, I tell you. I miss you. I wish I was there. It looks great. Man, I wish you were here, too. Wish you all could just come over for dinner tonight, you know? I don't know if you call this dinner or just a late lunch. Pretty sure it's just a late lunch for me. It is 3.50 p.m. So I guess you consider this kind of lunner. Is that what we call it? Lunch and dinner, lunner. How hot is it? Good thing you mentioned that. I'm definitely starting to sweat. I know it's gross, and I, you know, pardon me for that, folks, but I always like to do a sweat check when I'm dealing with peppers. Give me one sec. Super tasty, though. Got a certain sweetness, but not overly sweet. Really hearty, savory. Super tasty. You sure did, Jennifer, because you missed all the boring stuff, you know? All right. Donna wants me to do a sweat check, so pardon me, anyone that gets offended, but... Yeah, I am definitely sweating. Let me wash my hands. Definitely nice and sweating, man, the way I like it to be. It's tingling my mouth a little bit, but it's not overly hot. It's not overkill where you think, God, I wish there was less pepper in there. No, it's perfect for me. And the good thing about the cheese, the cheese acts like a binder and holds the meat together. That way it doesn't come all shooting out the sides when you're eating it. Cheese is perfect for that, folks. Hmm.
Mine's dinner would be dope. Oh, yeah, man. It's good, man. It's really good. Um, hopefully, this video saves without glitches. People were saying it was um, kind of choppy at first. Thing and add a little more meat to this one. There we go. Yeah, that cheese just kind of holds everything together, folks. Patrick's all damn. I think this cooking episode went really well. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Like I said, as long as the video saves <clears throat> without glitches, I'll be happy. But yeah, look at that. Goodness, look at that. Man, that's worthy of a picture right there. I mean, I love taking pictures because you never know which one you're going to post later, right? And that looks like a good one. And um, for my camera that I'm using, I'm using a OnePlus 5G 7 Pro, whatever you want to call it. Love this thing. Takes some amazing pictures. Had a couple of very short stream issues for me, but not too bad. Dang, man. I was so hoping it would stream smoothly. Like uh, last night on my uh, vape channel, no one mentioned any problems. Excuse me. Um, I'm just hoping it saves okay. I have 300 megabit internet. I mean, it should be quick. This is some good stuff, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, not just because I made it. I had to actually tweak this recipe a couple times to get it to where it's at. Um, I think next time I will add some paprika, just a, maybe like a half teaspoon. Maybe smoked paprika. It'll make it a little bit smoky. But um, otherwise, I mean, this thing is great, as is. Like, I could confidently say to make this recipe, and you will totally be happy. And if you don't like things super hot, then substitute the ghost peppers with, like, bell peppers or serrano or poblano, some of the ones that are not so hot. Or even jalapeno if you want it. Yeah, it's barely hot. I think that Burp had a small flame to it. <laughs> Good job and delicious. Thanks, Bird Dog. Really appreciate all y'all. Hmm. So I think that's about it. I am going to cut out of here and finish enjoying my Lunner. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like the video if you enjoy what you've seen here. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit, or is it this way? Hit that subscribe button. What do you got to lose? And um, really appreciate you, like I said, once again. It really means a lot to me that I got some followers. Hopefully, this channel is going to go places. I really enjoy cooking. I enjoy reviewing restaurants, snacks, hot peppers, doing some challenges at work with my buddy Rudy. All kinds of good things. Anything food-related goes. And I will be trying um, soon the um, Carolina we I'm sorry, Carolina Reaper Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, B-dubs, you know? Uh, a friend of mine works there, and he said he's going to um, treat me some, you know, so I can show on my channel. So that'll be really cool. I also ordered a new hot sauce that's going to be coming called, um, what is it, Thermal Runaway, I think it's called. It's supposed to be super hot. So I got lots of good ideas and stuff coming your way. But thanks again so much for tuning in to this live episode of Spicy Ghost Pepper Sloppy Joes on the Food Experience with yours truly, KJ Andio, your host with the most. Uh, let me check out your live stream feed here. Yeah, Ice Pro High School Brewski would go good. I don't have any on me, though. YouTube Brad, everybody, thank you again so much. I am going to cut out of here. With that said, I'm going to wish you all a very stellar day. Be excellent to each other. And most of all, remember me, KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Until next time, people, peace out. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you later.